do this morning, though, I don't know whether there's positive news or negative news coming out of China. So something about tariffs. But um, out of China, let's get to Eunice Yoon in Beijing uh, for the latest. I saw something quickly, Eunice, uh, retaliatory tariffs, but a, a, a pretty small number on the big famous things. But still, it looked like it, it didn't look like, gosh, we're all uh, in this great new deal and we're all we love each other. That's not what it looked like this morning. What, what's the latest? Well, you know, actually, uh, the vice premier did send some positive signals over the weekend. He made a rare public speech about the trade talks, and it seemed like he was trying to say that there has been some progress made. So uh, at a tech event that was totally unrelated, he said, uh, China and the U.S. have made substantial progress in many aspects and laid an important foundation for a phase one agreement. China is willing to work in concert with the U.S. to address each other's core concerns. Now, um, I know that those comments sound like the standard boilerplate uh, lines that you hear of the government, because that's actually what I thought when I first woke up and saw them. But what was interesting was how the state media has been portraying them. So the Global Times, which is a Communist Party paper, has described his remarks as the most clear and authoritative on progress by Beijing. And then separate to that, state media blog Tauron, which is closely watched by trade experts because they believe that it's somebody on the Chinese negotiating team who is blogging anonymously. Um, that blogger said that Liu's comments indicate that the negotiators are, quote, approaching a phase one agreement. So the official press by and large, has been uh, trying to manage the expectations of the trade talks. But now it looks as though they're turning a little bit more optimistic about the outcome for the phase one agreement. So that optimism helped to um, inject some um, positivity in the stock markets today, which largely shrugged off, which uh, something that turned out to be a big surprise in the stock markets. And that is that the central bank had decided to leave the new benchmark lending rate, the LPR, unchanged in October. Most people were expecting the policymakers to want to continue to loosen because of the conditions of the economy. However, um, it's unchanged. So um, some analysts were saying this might mean that the policymakers are feeling a little bit nervous about loosening policy too quickly and by too much. But for the most part, there seems to be agreement that there's only so much that the policymakers can do to, to stop um, this uh, trend of, of easing policy. And, and in fact, um, a Reuters poll said that they expect the one-year LPR to drop to 4% by the end of this year. So that's a 20, point, uh, 20 basis point um, lower.